Howdy folks, today I'm going to show you where to find a treasure map that will provide you with a very substantial amount of money, over $2,000. We'll go through where to find it, then walk through the clues to each map and finally the treasure, as well as how to then sell your treasure for some serious cash. While this is a walkthrough, it is heavily edited and nice and concise to cut out all of the pointless fluff. The first thing you need to do is find the treasure map itself. To do this, head up to Cairns Lake, which is located in the snowy frozen area in the northwest of the map. It's a little northeast of the centre of that snowy area. Up there is a small cabin. Head inside and just on your right as you enter, there is a lockbox. Inside is the map. So grab that and we can start. Then open your satchel, go all the way to your documents, go to treasure maps and click the poisonous trail map one that you just picked up. And if you look at this here, option one is sort of the more well-known landmark that you've got to find. The second one is near that that you have to then find to get your next thing in the trail. So this place that you need to find, the first bit, if you go from Cairn Lake, zoom out, go all the way down here, and there it is. It's around here. So here's your rock face with the big, well, face and such. So now we just need to look for the second thing. If you go on top of the uh, face here, which here's the face. This is where the actual front of the face is. Go on top, you'll be able to see extremely easily where it is over here. Pop over here and search in this tree. And here we have the next one, map two. Head into your documents once more, treasure maps. Bring up Poison's Trail, map two. Now, if we look at this second map, you may automatically assume what I did, which is that it is a river, but it's actually not. It may be a sort of double clue for the roundabout area, but the snaking river-esque image is actually some land in a specific area in snake territory. Make sure you have some ginseng for this bit, as I got bit by one of those little gits. So going from where we are now at the scene of the second map, we head up in a northeastern direction to this area here. It is east of Emerald Station on the other side of the Kamasar River and south of the large R in New Hanover on the map. The land there is steeply raised when coming in from the west up to a large hill. At the top is a clearing where the snaking land goes toward the east with the head where your clue is, right at the top. Reach in to find the third map. This map shows a waterfall into a pond or small lake. While I will certainly admit that I googled for help on the first two clues, which was needed due to me not clearing much of the map. I had the treasure hunter's fever by this point, and this is the logic I applied in case it may help you figure out future maps. As the image showed a waterfall flowing into a body of water, this means that the river is flowing in and so must also be flowing out. So what we are looking for is a pond or lake at some point along a river. The point where the river flows into the pond will be raised due to the waterfall, and be thin as the waterfall isn't very wide. Luckily, the map shows differences in terrain height, and the first one I zoomed in on to check height difference was Elysium Pool. It was correct, so that's where we're going next. To get there, just head north of the river that is just west of your current location, the river being the Kamasar River. You may find it easier to just look at the large E in New Hanover on the map. The pool is directly above it. Okay, so we're here. On the plus side, this will give you a wash. So just go down the bottom, I wouldn't jump off the top just in case, and go behind the waterfall. Oh this is cool, look at that. <laughs> Pick up bat. Oh, and well, while I was in here I found a perfect bat carcass. So uh, certainly worth looking out for that. Climb up here. There's a lot of dead bats in here, so you may as well pick them up. Could be useful for something. You're definitely going to want to get your melee light. So uh, change the knife to light and equip. And you've equipped, continue on, because this is really, this is pitch black. Just as you come into the pitch black area of the cave, the path will follow around to the left, with the drop off on the right. Being very careful, you can get down that drop off at the nearest end to the entrance, via some ledges that stagger down. Once you are down, head along the thin passage, and go through a small hole in the right cave wall. Just through there is a split in the tunnel. This is where that second part of the third map comes in. It tells you to go right, so go right. There is an immediate right turn off through there. It is lit up. Go in there and loot the lockbox for a bag of jewellery. Then head back and continue on down the right path. Keep your wits about you as you will come to an extremely deadly drop. The ledge that you are on goes left or right. Turn left and go to the edge. 
you should just about be able to see a floor beneath and in front of you that does not extend to your side. So pull back and take a running jump over to ensure your health is full as the fall will hurt a bit. Once you land, go down the slope in front of you into some water. Just to your left is another ledge, head up onto it and the rocks up there are searchable. Inside you'll find four gold bars, there is your treasure my good man. Now to get back out can be tricky, head up the right side of that slope where you won't slide and when you reach the top where you landed before, look to your right and you'll see a small but fairly square edge. You need to climb up this very carefully without dropping to your death on your left. Then climb up once more and follow that tunnel to where you split off from the left and right turning. Now we just need to sell them. Arriving to Valentine at night, hitch at the hotel, clean Daenerys cause she's filthy. Check in, definitely take a bath. Relax, have a little scrub, accept the help. Have her give you a little scrub. Have a good kip, wake up refreshed. Head over to the general store, head over to the bank, realise that you can't sell gold bars pretty much anywhere and you need a fence to sell them. You're rich now so provided you've unlocked the fence at Emerald Ranch, then uh, take a nice stagecoach to Emerald Ranch. Fear not, for dear Daenerys shall follow. Head to the barn at the back to your fence, carefully. There's a cart, you don't want to totally yourself in the horse now do you? and sell your go bars to this unsavoury fellow called Seamus. They are worth $500 each, giving you a total of $2,000 for this little excursion. Pretty frigging good compared to everything else. Sell them, and then if you look at that large jewellery bag, that's another $50 for you. You found a platinum spring bracelet elsewhere as well, so that's $9. I personally found four gold teeth of a man that fell off his horse and died. I may have finished him off trampling after. And be happy, for now you are rich. Rather rich indeed. So yes, thanks for watching folks. I hope this guide was helpful and not too annoying and maybe even a little entertaining. We have a Discord that is linked in the description. It's full of a few hundred awesome people who talk about games and other such activities, art, memes, pretty much everything really. I've also got a Patreon if you want to help support the channel. If you want support but not in that fashion, then sharing the videos is a fantastic way to do that. It really does help, especially in these days of notifications not always going out and such. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as we are streaming Red Dead Redemption 2 daily, as well as daily guides and other such videos for the channel. Oh yes, that's two videos a day. Like, what the hell man? What are you, some kind of crazy mouth? And when it comes out, Fallout 76 will be given the same treatment with a crap ton of guides, streams and other such awesomeness. So thanks for watching folks and have a fantastic day.